Hey, I'm Sam and I do design and in the video today, I'm showing you how to export your portfolios at high quality with a low file size. Last week, I reviewed some of your portfolios and I made a request on my website to only submit portfolios that were five megabytes and under. And I got the impression from you guys that it's really tricky to do that. There are two reasons why I asked for that. One is companies do that in the real world and they put a file limit on. And the second one is uh, it gave me an excuse to make this video today. So in the video today, I'm going to show you how to export a large portfolio with high quality images for under five megabytes. Uh, and that's going to allow companies to use your portfolios in the real world as well. The reason why companies do this is because they might have a HR team within the company that has file limits on their emails, so they can't get any uh, files higher than five megabytes. Uh, and there are so many other reasons uh, for companies doing this as well. Uh, and it's really important if they do quote a file limit, um, you need to stick to that and make sure it's definitely under that because if you don't do that, then it shows that you can't follow instructions and you're already not the top of the game for the portfolio list anyway. So in order to do this, I've made a really quick uh, portfolio in InDesign here, and I've just used some images from Unsplash, some, some open source free images, uh, and it's the standard sort of, you know, there's, there's nothing special about this portfolio, but um, it's got the bare bones there, images and text, which is what we'll want to export. So. The way that I've set this up in the document is document setup. I've got it as 1280 by 800 pixels, which is already quite a large portfolio in terms of screen size. And that means that when I go full screen on a landscape uh, screen like this, it's going to fill the whole screen. And each page is going to be its own page because it's not in spreads. So that is the way that I've set this portfolio up. So I'm going to export this portfolio now and I'm going to do it at the maximum resolution, highest quality, no compression, and we'll see what sort of size the portfolio gets to. So in order to do that, we need to go up to file, then export. And I'm just going to call it portfolio large because I think it's going to be pretty large. And we have here our first option, which is what type of export we want to do. So I'm going to select Adobe PDF print. And even though it's going to be on screens and viewed on screens, I'm going to select print because interactive is going to make it a larger file even, even still. And you only really want to be using interactive if you've got clickable buttons and stuff like that in there. This portfolio hasn't, so I'm going to use print and press save. And then we have this box pop up here. And at the top here, I can start to change the quality for the portfolio. There are also so many options down here that you don't need to worry about at all. Um, I don't use any of these settings. All I'm going to be using today is the general and the compression. So let's say we want to do it at the super press quality where it's not going to compress anything. Uh, and we'll press export. While we wait for InDesign to do that, I'm going to talk a little bit about why we want to compress the images, but also keep the high quality as well. Basically, when you're exporting files like this, you need to make sure that you keep in mind the pixels per inch and the compression rate as well. Um, so when I talk about pixels per inch or PPI or dots per inch, DPI, those are the two main factors uh, for quality of file. Pixels per inch is when we talk about digital media and dots per inch is when we talk about physical media. So as a rule of thumb for digital, the average sort of screen resolution is 72 pixels per inch. I keep getting them confused. In recent years, you can go up to maybe 100 pixels per inch, uh, but that's sort of the standard for digital files like this. In the physical world, when you're starting to print things off, you want to be getting 300 dots per inch. Uh, that's the industry standard anything below 300 dots per inch, and you're going to start to see pixelations and stuff like that, which you don't want at all. So the file has opened here and scrolling through, you know, it looks great because it's super duper quality. Uh, we got what, 22 pages here, unsplash, yeah, close all this down. 
go to my desktop, which is where I saved it, press get info, and you can see here that it is 20.4 megabytes, which is way too large to send in an email. So I'm gonna show you guys how you can compress this whilst keeping the quality the same. So we're gonna go back into InDesign, export again, and this time I'm gonna call it portfolio small, because we're gonna try and make it a smaller file size. So this is where we can start to change this up here. Uh, I'm gonna press high quality print this time and go down to compression, which is where we can look at the pixels per inch, like I mentioned before. So because we already said that the standard is 72 or maximum 150, I can move these down to be 150 straight away. And what this means is for images above 225 pixels per inch, InDesign will convert them to be 150 pixels per inch. So we're gonna resize the images so they don't need to be bigger than they actually need to be. Yeah. Uh, what we can also do is change the image quality for maximum high. Um, I'm gonna stick it on maximum for now and then we can always come in later on and change the quality if the file size isn't as small as we need. So let's just try it on maximum first. This is also the same for grayscale images, there's none in there, and monochrome images, not in there either. And we're gonna press export and wait to see what file size we end up with. Okay, so we've got it over here. Portfolio small, right click on that, get info. You can see that we've over halved it, so now it's at 7.7 .7 megabytes. And like I said before, we have those extra options to go in to make it an even smaller file size. So we're gonna go back to export, portfolio smallest. <laughs> and then down to compression. This time I'm gonna press high and high it there. And we'll press export and see where that gets us. Okay, so we've got it exported here. This time I can right click, get info, 6.6 .6 megabytes, it's almost there. At this point, what I would then start to do is go into the file, uh, I've sort of blocked myself into a corner here because I've already called it smallest. Let's call it smallest v2, okay? It's always important to name your files properly, knowing for a fact that you'll overwrite them later anyway. Um, okay, so let's see. Uh, I'm gonna go to compression. Let's say here we're gonna change it to 100 pixels and everything else high call, we're gonna export that, and hopefully, this time, it'll be below that magic five megabytes mark. Two point one megabytes. Uh, I'm probably more excited about that than I should be. Uh, okay, so this is gonna be the exciting bit, uh, if you can call it exciting, because we've got Portfolio Large here, which was the original, at 20 megabytes, and we've got the portfolio smallest V2 here, which is two megabytes. And if I open both side by side, I bet it's gonna be pretty difficult to figure out which one's which. Um, you can see that the, the images are slightly different in color temperature. This is gonna be down to what InDesign is doing in the background to compress them. But on the grand scheme of things, um, the fact that this is 20 megabytes and this is two megabytes, this is gonna be so much easier to send via email. Uh, so we've managed to keep all of the quality whilst literally dividing the, the, the size by 10, uh, which is, I think, really cool, uh, but I'm a nerd, so I will. So that means that this is 22 pages long. That means that uh, if you have a portfolio that's 44 pages long, you'll still be able to fit it in that five megabytes bracket uh, by doing those techniques that I just showed you. So thanks for watching this video, guys. If you learned anything, do let me know down in the comments below. I'm sure there are other tips and tricks that you can use to make your portfolio a smaller file size, so let me know those in the comments as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you wanna catch these videos in the future and hit the bell button and everything else that YouTube asks you to do. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.
Basically, when you're exporting files like this, you need to be apparent 